Today I thought that I would show you what I'm going to be doing with my compost bins. Um, I hope the noise isn't too distracting. The gentleman at the back has got a fan wearing away but I wanted to make the most of the weather and get the fruit cage finished so I thought it was a good opportunity while I'm emptying the compost bin to uh, show you what it looks like now, um, the compost that I'm going to take out of it and how I'm going to restart it again. Um, because I know there's an awful lot of people out there who are afraid of making compost. Um, like myself, afraid of rats getting into the compost. I just thought that I would show you what I do to avoid that situation um, and how I make good compost for my garden. When I moved into this house 18 months ago, I inherited two compost bins off the elderly gentleman that lived here. And he set his compost bins on concrete. And I have to say, since I've been setting them on concrete, I've had no trouble with rats at all. In the old house that we lived in, um, I had an awful lot of trouble with rats. I had a rat infestation in my garden and that was very uncomfortable. And I wanted to make sure in this house that that didn't happen here. So what I've done is I've left the compost bins in the position that he had them in, set on concrete. Um, and carried on as he did when he was alive and he used this garden so I found that a very effective way to keep down on rats. I know rats can chew through concrete but because the, the bins are sealed in completely at the bottom because they're on nice level concrete it means that the rats don't have a way of actually chewing to get underneath um, so that seems to work really well. They're also next to a hedge with uh, chicken wire underneath and in full sun so that means that the compost is going to rot down really quickly in the sun. Um, even in the winter I've noticed when I've been coming out with the food waste that it's been absolutely heaving with worms and it, the bin actually sounded like it was squirming at one point last week when we had that hot sunshine and uh, there was that many worms at the top of the bin I really couldn't see the food waste underneath but they seem to have gone down a bit now into the actual bottom of the compost bin because um, the weather's cooled down a lot now as you can see I've got a scarf on today um, and last week I was walking around in summer clothes so yeah that shows you the, the contrast in the weather and um, the worms have dropped down to, uh, lower down into the compost bin because that's what they do when it's cold when they're in the ground they go further down into the soil in the winter than what they are in the summer um, so that's what they've done in the compost bin. So what I thought I would do today, because I want to mulch my fruit bushes um, and I want to put compost on them first before I mulch them. So uh, the gentleman that had the house before me, as I say, he had an awful lot of currant bushes which I've tried to keep and tried to keep good. And they've got a lot of fruit flowers on them this year, whereas last year they didn't. So. I thought it would be just be a good opportunity because there's a lot of weeds in there um, and I want to put ca cardboard down before I mulch it as well just to get rid of all the weeds and to get a nice growing soil um, for the bushes to live in. So what I thought I would do today is sort the compost out and then in another video I'm going to show you what I do with that compost putting it onto the fruit. So this video today is specifically going to be about me emptying the bin um, and what I do from that point then to restart the bin with the waste that's at the top of that bin. So I'll be back in a minute, I'm just going to get my wheelbarrow. A spade and that's what I'll use to get the soil out of the bottom. Then as we go around here, this is my wheelbarrow, which is where if I do take the plastic bin off, I'll take all the food waste that is on the surface and pop it in the wheelbarrow and I'll save that for when I've emptied the bin. I've got my two buckets which I'm going to use for putting the compost in to take it to the fruit bushes. So I'll put them down there next to the bins. And I've also got a sieve because you might find that there's some food waste mixed in with the soil and you want to get it out and separate the two. So I do use a food sieve, a, a soil sieve as well sometimes if I find there's bits that I want to rescue to get to the compost. Um, so, put that down as well. Also, this is the bin that I use to put the compost in. As you can see, it's just an ordinary bin with a lid on. Um, it does have a catch on it which holds the lid in place. Um, and I just use that just to, just an ordinary bin. And I just use that to bring the food waste up the garden from the house um, and put it in the bin and then clean it out after I've used it to start again. 
Right, so I'm over here now at my two compost bins that I have that I've just been telling you about. And as you can see, they're plastic with the Dalek style bins with the little uh, latch at the bottom uh, for you to get the soil out so you don't actually have to disturb the bin. Now, I don't like them doing this way. I prefer to take the whole bin off. Um, and get to the food waste that's inside. So I'll just show you what it looks like inside. You take the lid off, like that. And as you can see, there's a lot of food waste inside. You can see the worms crawling on the sides of the bin. Um, and it was absolutely heaving, as I say, last week when we had the warm weather, but they're a little bit quieter today and they've gone a bit further down into the compost bin, as I say. Um, See if we can have a look. There you go, you can see all the worms all active in there. Um, there's absolutely loads of them. And I'm sure the further down in the bin I go, the more worms there will be. I'll see how I get on taking it out from the bottom, but if I struggle, I'm gonna have to take the whole thing off and scoop all this food waste off the top um, and then pop it back in again. So that's one of the bins. This is another one, which I was using for garden waste. Um, but it doesn't seem as active at all. Um, so I sort of put my food waste in this one as well to try and encourage the worms to um, get the food waste that's in here. And I only put this in last week and there's already quite a bit of activity going on in there with little ants and there are some worms in there. I have seen more worms but as you can see there's not as many as the other bins so we'll have a look and see how we get on with that one. Down to the bottom here, this is where you get your compost out. Now as you can see there is soil in there but not many worms to be seen. Now if we have a look in the other one, in this one, we'll take this hatch off and you can see the worm cast. There's an awful lot more activity in this one than that other one. It's absolutely bulging. Um, yeah, it's definitely ready to come out. So, so yeah, I'm going to have a look and see how I get on getting it out of the bottom. Um, but if I find that that's too much, uh, there's too much soil in up the bin, I'll probably just take the top off. But we'll see how we get on. So as I said, I'm going to take the compost out of this bin and I'm going to take it out of this hole here and we'll see how we get on. So I'll just, have a, I'll just take a couple of shovelfuls out and we'll see how we get on with that one. Don't forget your gloves as well, you will need some. Gloves on, ready? Spade in. Ooh. I think I'm going to take the top of the bin off um, so I'll just get on with that now. As you can see lots of good worms and stuff in there so that can go on the on the food on the bushes now. This is where your wheelbarrow is going to come in handy because um, you're going to need it now to put the food waste in out the top as much as you can and then take the lid off and then you haven't got food all over the place as well because that will attract rats so the best thing to do is to get out as much of the food waste from the inside as you can and then um, move on to taking the top off. So we'll just do that now. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to take the food waste out and pop it in the wheelbarrow. So just put your hands in the bin. Look a bit like that because it's not, it's all raw. Um, it hasn't been rotted down yet. It's still a bit wet. So just pop it in the bin. Get your hands in. It's a very dirty job, so you do need gloves. Grab it out pop it in the bin. You can use a shovel if you can get a shovel in, but I prefer to use my hand. You'll find lots of worms in it, but that's normal, that's what you want. You want the worms in the food waste, um, so that they'll rot the food down. So we'll just see if it's fading. whether you can see but that's just in one little bit all those worms and that's off the top of the bin can you see the amount of worms just in that one shovel as I say it's a very active bin um, 
There's lots of worms. It's such a healthy bin. I've never seen anything like it really. But that's what you want. You want worms like that in the top. Try not to chop them in half because despite myths, they don't grow back as two worms. You just end up with a dead worm. So yeah, try to keep the worms intact if you can. Look that one. Look at it. So many worms. Never seen anything like them. Loads of them. Look. So that's what you want. Right, I think now that we're pretty much ready to take the lid off this bin, the top off this bin. Um, I'll show you inside. As you can see, we've got the top layer of food waste off. Um, and I think it's pretty much ready now to have the top taken off. Because what you don't want is food waste left all over the floor for the rats to get. Um, so... Yeah, I would say that's pretty much ready to take the top off. You've got a lot of your food waste out now, which I'll just show you. You see your food waste now is in your wheelbarrow. Loads of lovely worms in there. Yeah, absolutely teeming with worms. So that'll all go back into the compost at the bottom. So, yep. So now we're ready to take this top off, this plastic part of the bin off and then we can get into the compost. So let's get stuck into that. Okay, so this is what we've got now the lids off. Um, that was the top of our bin. And this is the inside of our bin. As you can see, there's still some food waste in there. So that's what we're going to use our sieve for if we can't pick it out by hand. Um, but all this is soil. Well, majority of it, I'd say 95% of it is soil. Um, and we can put that onto the fruit bushes. Any food waste you find, just pick it out and put it in your wheelbarrow. See you like that? Well, look at all those worms. Look at them. Loads of them. Look. I love it. It's brilliant. Right, so as you can see, I've got my two buckets ready. And they're now going to go round to the fruit cage and be put on top of the fruit bushes. I've done all the bushes. I've got one left to do. I've got compost round the base, as you can see. As you can see, so they're all done now. Um, I do have one more to do up this end by the chickens. So I'll just show you that, show you the difference. So this one just needs all the weeds taken out and the long grass and then I can put compost on that one. So this is what's left out of that big pile. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the compost out of the wheelie bin and put that in a bag for the time being. And then I'm going to put this compost in the wheelbarrow and take it up the top of the garden so I can put it on the fruit that doesn't have any compost or feed on it at the moment. And then that'll give them a good boost as well because they're just coming in to blossom. So hopefully that'll give them a good feed. Anyway, that's it for now. Right, that's all the compost done now. Um, I've got one bush left to do, as I say, and I'm going to put all this compost that is left back down here by my feet into the wheelbarrow and take that and put it on the fruit trees at the top of the garden. So that's it on that section for now. Um, tune in for the next video because I'm going to make this into a two-part series and show you how I start my new compost bin off with the old stuff that hadn't rotted down at the top of the compost bin and get that ready again for this season's composting so that will then be ready again for next winter so I hope you enjoyed the episode if you do like my video please like and subscribe and please leave comments below and let's start a, a, a chat in the community about composting I think that would be really interesting because people have so many different ideas about composting and about what is involved in making compost and as I say this this is just how I make compost and isn't necessarily how the next person would make compost but this is what works for me in my garden in my setting and um, I also 
because I'm next to farm fields I don't want to attract rats into the garden so this is just what works for me it might not work for everybody but this is just my solution for me having homegrown compost for my fruit bushes every single year um, and it seems to work for me so far so hope you enjoyed the video as I say please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the section below thanks and see you next time bye for now Thank you.